Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it real for one moment here. We both know, you and me, we knew re-watching the Mugen Train together that eventually we would get to this episode. And uh, yeah, it's finally here, man. The conclusion to, in my opinion, one of the greatest fights in all of anime that I've seen personally, one of my favorite fights of all time, bro. Rengoku versus Akaza. Can Rengoku beat Akaza? I don't like our chances, if I'm being honest. The episode name is Set Your Heart Ablaze. Very iconic statement. Um, obviously, I already know what happens, man. But uh, I'm curious to see uh, what they change, man. Like I said, I, I'm still trying to point out exactly different scenes or different cuts or whatnot. But, like, in my opinion, everything so far has been almost identical. I mean, like, I, I think some people have pointed out little tidbits here and there. But, like, overall... You know, if you show me this and you show me the movie, it'd be kind of hard to tell the difference. So yeah, everybody, hope you guys are ready for the final part of the Mugen Train arc. It's been a pretty exciting rewatch with you guys. It's been really fun, man. Um, you know, obviously the Entertainment District arc, Red Light District arc starts like next week or very soon. Um, obviously I'm going to be covering that. But uh, this rewatch, it's been really fun, you know, going over it again since I didn't get to... You know, record my reaction since I watched it in theaters and whatnot. So everybody, make sure to subscribe and click that like button. It's super easy. It takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Am I right? But nonetheless, let's get it. All right, this episode has some of my, like, favorite scenes in it. So the way they just started this episode out with just fucking just heat, bro. No pun intended, I promise. Oh, he's going to do the thing again. I keep forgetting. It's like miss this order. I don't know why the fuck I can't remember that. I'm curious to see if Akaza can handle a Hinokami Kagura Blast. Yo, it's time for the ninth form! May or may not be my favorite scene in the entire arc. Th Yo, there's competition still. You know, there's some scenes coming up still, but this scene is fucking legendary. The esoteric art, bro. And the music, man. I'm telling you, if you want to make a scene pop, you got to get a good-ass composer, some good-ass music going on, bro. Music makes a scene. Bro, I can't even imagine to see what the next arc looks like. Ninth form, bro. Let's go, bro. Yo, this scene. Mystery. Annihilation type, man. No, it still hits. Even if it's not in theaters, this still hits right now. God damn, dude. I remember seeing this. Everyone was silent. Like, it was just like, no music was playing or nothing. Just everyone was like holding their breath. See, in my opinion, I feel like they should have ended the last episode off with this. I feel like that would have been pretty cool, but they probably didn't have enough runtime left. So, like, I'm really wondering if Akaza had to do this to Rengoku to survive this attack. See, because he heals so quickly because of that. So like, I don't know, bro. Or Akasa's just like, oh, the sun's coming up soon. I gotta go finish this off, you know? All right, bro, Demon Slayer, chill with the music, man, bro. I'm not trying to cry, man. It's 3 a.m. in the morning right now. I mean, maybe eventually we'll get that, but like, I wish we would have gotten like a Rengoku backstory. Goddamn, you know when the veins come out, bro, they just get, they get instant strength. Okay, this might be my favorite scene. Legendary, bro. Dog, imagine how much strength you have to have to block fucking Akaza's punch. And Rengoku's a human, bro. He's holding that shit. And he got a fist in his stomach. I feel like, oh, so is Rengoku using his breathing technique right there to keep Akaza's hand in his stomach? Like, he's, like, kind of clenching it. That boy Akaza molding now, bro. He's like, shit, hold on. I actually might be in trouble now. Plus, Rengoku was getting close to, to cutting his head off. Yeah, he got about, like, halfway right now. Look look at that boy Inosuke, bro. He was ready to jump into action. As soon as Tanjiro said, like, yo, we got to help Rengoku out, he said, all right, bet. I got you. Let me hit you with that first fang. Ah, I forgot he rips his arms off like that. Yo, and like, that boy Tanjiro just be learning Hinokami moves out of nowhere, bro. That man got a Hinokami projectile. This was kind of a funny moment in a way, because he's like, he turns around and he's like, why are you talking shit? I'm not even running from you guys. I'm running from the motherfucking sun. I'm trying to get out of here. But now, you know, you got to let that boy Tanjiro talk his shit right now. I saw this movie in, in, in Japanese and in English. Props to vo both voice actors for this scene, because Tanjiro went off in both of those scenes, bro. Like, voice actors, music went off. Holy shit, bro. Like, perfect 10 out of 10 scene. And, like, I love how, like, the sun is kind of, like, the lighting, you know, ch kind of changes. It's shining on some of them. Like, it just, it, oh, this scene's so beautiful. See, bro, Rengoku right here cares more about Tanjiro than he does himself. So, I guess, like, when Tanjiro was trying to save the conductor, it really is, like, a parallel between the two. Like, they are really alike in a lot of ways, so. Okay, what's going to be the last uh, little intermission right here? Fuck off! I know what this is, bro. I know what this is referencing. Oh, no, the crow. Not the crow. And I just noticed, like, you see Rengoku's, like, back is, like, a little protruding because Akaza's fist is still stuck in there. Wow, I can't believe I didn't catch that. Like, Akaza was 
kind of keeping Rengoku alive a little bit until his arm dissolved. Now, uh, yeah, the nah, the wound's too big. Guys, I've already seen this scene before many times, but like, I still don't want to talk. It's like, I, bro, this scene, it's too good, bro. But like, bro, Rengoku's only like 20. That that man was still young. I think he's 20. Like, bro, I, I'm a year older than Rengoku. It's crazy. I'm going to be honest. I'm about to become the next flame hot for for Rengoku out here. Bum, 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 bum. There she is, man. Respectfully. I love this scene to death, but fuck it at the same time because it's so sad and so sentimental and I'm such a sentimental person, dude. That like, I couldn't help but shed a few tears when this happened. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. I've seen this scene so many times already, but it it still hits. Yo, RIP that man, Rengoku. Yo, can I get some RIPs in the, in the comments, please? Holy shit. Like, I'm gonna be honest. You know, like... Nowadays, with, 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 with anime, you know, like, you know, when I first got introduced to it, you know, there, I, I I used to look for stuff that, like, oh, you know, emotional anime, emo, uh, anime that'll try to make you cry and whatnot. You know, I've seen animes that have got me emotional and maybe shed a few tears before, but, like, in recent years, uh, anime really hasn't, like, hit me on that type of emotional level until, like, I saw this scene again. Or not until I saw this, until I saw this scene for the first time in theaters. That was, like, the first time again where, like, I really felt, like, a really big attachment like emotionally to where like it invokes like me you know shedding a few tears um for a fictional character for like a fictional scene like i know these characters aren't real i know like the tragedy isn't real but like the fact that they're able to convey it so well the music the voice acting the lighting like it it's so beautiful bro like i i'm getting real for a second but like dude like i don't know like that sh shit like that is, is really rare to come across that's why, like, I have, like, a really big attachment to not only Demon Slayer, but, like, this arc. Like, I've seen this arc so many times. I've played the game. I've played the, the game version of this arc. I've watched the anime version along with you guys. I've seen the movie two times, four times right now. All I gotta do is just read the manga of it, and that's five times, right? So, like, bruh. And it's just, like, I'm watching it again right now, and I still feel that. You know that feeling in your heart? When, you, when you're starting to get emotional and sentimental. I can't really explain it, but I, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I still feel it as I'm watching it for like the fourth time right now, you know? So, uh, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. I still think this is one of, one of like the best fights in all of anime and probably like one of like the most emotional moments that I've seen, bro. I don't care what anybody says. I'm really going to miss this arc. I'm really going to miss it, man. It feels like we've been in Mugen Train limbo for a while, dude. Just everything's Mugen Train related, but... Uh, yeah, Zenitsu was pretty fuck. he was pretty fucking strong. You were asleep the whole time, so, like, you, you, you could have noticed. Obviously, this was supposed to be kind of a funny scene, but, like, I do find it very clever that they had, uh, Inosuke kind of be the voice of reason uh, for this scene. And the thing is, we still don't know that much about Inosuke. Like, we really don't know, like, a lot about that man. I'm really curious about his backstory. God damn, I forgot. Inosuke, you might have just killed this guy. Holy shit, I forgot he even does that. They really had to throw him. <laughs> I can't help but laugh, but like, it's so funny seeing Inosuke, bro. This is a pretty cool part too, when uh we get to see like all the Hashira's reactions to, to hearing the news about Rengoku. I think that's pretty interesting. It's interesting how like little they react. I don't know if their emotions are just like that deadened at this point, you know? I forgot this man Moichiro doesn't even say anything, bro. He, he doesn't even know where the fuck he is right now. Hey, Tenga, you about to get your, your chance too soon. Don't worry, man. I'm really curious about you. You better not have no emotional moments like Rengoku, dude. I don't know if I can take another big loss, you know? The Gyome's crying doesn't count, though, because that man is always crying. And Sonami is just like, yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to kill people. Classic Sonami right here. R.I.P., man. Are they, are they actually just going to play the credits? Oh, wow. They're, they're just playing the credits from the movie interesting okay uh, obviously i, I want to see the ending i don't know if they're going to do like a preview for the next arc or or, or or whatnot or they're just going to leave it as is but so if i had to give a consensus of this arc i would give it like 10 out of 10 bro like nothing will ever beat like the first experience watching the movie uh i'm just saying that right now like it's, it's kind of hard to replicate uh emotion like that for the first time like obviously i already knew what happened so like the the ending scene didn't hit me as heavy as some people that would see it for the first time but like i still felt like emotions resonate within me you know on some anime fucking shit i know that i know it sounds like some anime shit but like you know what i'm talking about bro um yeah like it, it still felt emotional like the hype was there 
um everything was still great the animation was so solid in the tv version uh, I want, well, though i'm gonna be honest dude i i feel kind of uh i feel kind of scammed <laughs> and what i mean by that is like when i when they when they um promoted this they're like okay you know they're gonna have different cuts and whatnot like even i remember with dragon ball super uh with certain fights here and there there were clear different cuts like with goku versus beerus and whatnot like there were clear di different cuts but with this i'm gonna be real i do feel like they kind of just like all right let's take the mugen train arc and let's just be like all right let's end it here let's end it here let's end it here i guess the extra scenes that they are kind of referring to could be like the previews because the previews were like original you know like they were new stuff and they were pretty cool like the scene where um all the Hashi were kind of explaining what they what they like about Rengoku. I thought that was pretty cool. So like, you know, in a way, I didn't get scammed, but maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't know. You know, like stuff like that. Like maybe I expected one thing and we got the other. But regardless, the rewatch it was still solid. See now, us together, we have a clear memory of what went on in this arc, like from start to finish, since we watched it together. And uh, yeah, now we can start the uh, Entertainment District arc. Uh, next week or I, I i keep saying next week but i really don't know it's like december 7th i think or something like that but um yeah we're solid to go into that my, my boys is there something different at the end no preview anything nope copyright nice and once again crunchy i just saw the the, the ending of the art bro y'all y'all don't gotta promote the movie trust me we all know what it is dude um but yeah everybody um, thank you guys so much for watching like always. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for the people that joined me on this uh, Mugen Train uh, rewatch. I'm uh, I've, I've said this before, you know, obviously I'm I'm excited like almost everybody else for the uh, next arc of Demon Slayer when we truly get into the uh, like the new content, like the new stuff that like we haven't seen yet, at least like the anime only of course. Um, um, I'm excited to see the chemistry between Tengen and you know the rest of the crew right now rengoku is still probably like my favorite uh character or at least my favorite hashira at least uh, amongst everybody else um tengen really hope he gets his personality you know shown through you know uh really hope he he has some really cool scenes dude all right so actually real quick um shout out to the comment section man um i was checking my comments real quick literally just got done you know recording the video i was actually about to edit it and i checked my comments and someone said like yo Make sure to go check out the episode 8 preview. Uh, it's separate. It's not at the end of episode 7. So, uh, yeah, I looked it up, and apparently there is an episode 8 preview. Hopefully, I'm not getting debated right now, but I guess we're going to go check this out. Okay. Daki? This might just be like a teaser trailer that I haven't seen. I definitely haven't seen some of this shit. Okay, some of this stuff I've already seen. No shot this all happens in episode 8. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Why haven't I seen? Did that? Did, was that a, like a leak or something like that? Was that like a leak? I haven't seen that shit. Why the fuck? Hey man. <laughs> hey bro, you know. Hey man, let's 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 keep it real for a second. No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm done. I'm not okay. I'm done. Okay. Anyways, though, uh, Nezuko looks pretty dope here. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess that was that um I, i'm pretty sure that was just like a teaser trailer or like a leak so yeah we're like that that's pretty cool um it's kind of like stuff we've already seen uh those girls were in like the trailer too and on the cover i think so obviously they have some type of importance they're looking kind of good that's all i can say bro but yeah um other than that guys i'm out it's been your boy and peace right